Maria Medina spoke to one business owner who also worries that the wrong people may be punished. Maria? 10th Street here in San Jose is used all the time by street racers, especially at night, making it dangerous for anyone leaving NorCal Hobbies and Raceway. At least twice a month, these types of sideshows or street races happen outside Eric Vasutin's business. Sideshows, all sorts of shenanigans going on. And he says that means leaving his parking lot could mean life or death. There's people trying to leave our parking lot to get onto 10th Street, and they can't. Because you don't know if there's a car going to be driving by. As you can see by this YouTube video, even when police arrive. Three cops parked across the street right over there. We'll see what happens. Though. The sign shows just moved to another area. We're going to the next spot. But now the police chief and city leaders are trying to put the brakes on street racing. We know that spectators make the event. Tonight, unanimously passing a law making it illegal to simply be a spectator. In the last four years, uh, we've lost six young people to illegal street races. Uh, that is six too many. Eric supports punishing those involved. After all, he's in the business of racing cars himself. Radio controlled car racing. But we're doing the same thing legally where they're doing it outside illegally and causing a disruption to our business, to our patrons. It's pretty ironic. Quite. But Eric is worried the wrong people will be punished, like his customers who wait in this parking lot while a street race is going on. Several council members also share the same concern. But police, including the chief, reassured city council members those who make themselves human barricades and are found within 200 feet of a sideshow will be the ones identified as breaking the law. In San Jose, Maria Medina, KPIX 5.